Thank God I didn't have to put that on. This smells terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Destroy Never, a show where we unbox never-before-seen artifacts buried deep within the Department of Nike Archives. I'm talking shoes, suits, outfits, things you've never seen before. I'm your host, Robbie Digital. This episode is like none other. We're taking it back all the way to 1996. Bulls won in 1996. The Yankees won in 1996. It was like the greatest time in sports history. It was super cars, superheroes, super suits. We're gonna talk about Swooshman. I'm talking the hero, the face of Nike. Let's get into it. I don't even know what this looks like. Do you see this? This is crazy. Oh my God. I don't know how we put someone in this suit. It's just crazy how like in 1996, this was the pinnacle of design technology. Like if you were gonna be a superhero, I guess these are the things you would need. Like you would need a neoprene suit that sticks to the body, that's agile, that gives you multi-directional movement and functionality to not only like be a hero, but to also like be athletic at the same time. According to the Department of Nike Archive reports, in the late 90s, there was a division of the company's marketing department called Nike Sports Entertainment, whose aim was staging big Nike events that would showcase some of the greatest athletes in the world. There were sports themed circuits shows featuring popular Nike athletes like Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, Tiger Woods, even Carl Lewis. At some point in 1996, they decided they really needed a professional sports mascot. They enlisted a costume designer from Hollywood who had created a suit for the Batman movies and molded an outfit out of neoprene. But my main thing is like, how do you clean it? <laughs> Where does Swoosh Man go to get his suit clean? Is there like a dry cleaner service that only covers superhero outfits? Do you use a scrub? Do you use a brush, an adhesive? So many questions, but definitely really don't. Do not ask me to get in this suit. Thank God I didn't have to put that on. This smells terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't the first time that Nike suited up. In the late 1980s, they created a character called Reflecto Man. And then after Swoosh Man, in the early 2000s, they created another mascot called Mandrake. The difference between all of those mascots and Swoosh Man, Swoosh Man was a real life athlete. He did somersaults, backflips, walked old ladies across the street, saved cats out of trees. You name it, he did it. And he did it all in this suit. I mean, look at this specimen of a superhero. We're talking biceps, triceps, the giant swoosh, even to his wristband. This is like Nike Plus before Nike Plus. Love him or not, Swoosh Man is a part of Nike's story. Although he retired in the late 1990s, he made a resurgence in 2022 in the form of a Flight 1995. This is definitely a shoe that's a blast from the past. You'll notice in the flex grooves, there's Swoosh Man hanging out right in the bottom of the shoe, and it came with this limited edition Swoosh Man keychain. Let me know if you want to see the return of the Swoosh Man. Does it make sense? Does it work? Of course it works. It's Swoosh Man. Let me know in the comments below. If you like what we just discovered, stay tuned for what's next.